Hello guys, today we are reviewing the Mini X Plus TV Box H34. We already had a Mini X Plus 1, this device is called the Mini X Plus 2. It's basically the same design as before. It was delivered by Minian.com with DHL Express. We like to buy there because they really ship fast and secure. I guess we already have 5 Minian.com packs here at our office. But back to the device. Mini X Plus revisit their old media player and improved the hardware. The Mini X Plus 2 features 1GB of RAM and a brand new all winner A20. It's available in blue, red and black. As you can see we chose the blue one. We like the aluminium case. It will protect your device from damage. It has 4GB of internal space. Of course some of that will be used by the system. We had 1.5GB left for installing apps. Of course you can expand this with an SD card. You'll find two USB ports in the front, so you even can plug USB sticks or hard drives in the device. The Mini X Plus 2 features wireless LAN, HDMI and AV. If you have a poor wireless LAN connection, you might have noticed a wireless LAN antenna. This will boost your signal and help you downloading content fast. There aren't so many media players featuring an AV output, so we think that's great. It's a cheap device and if you want to upgrade your very old television to a smart TV, this clever little media player should be your device of choice. The Mini X Plus 2 was released just a few weeks ago. It's our first media player featuring Android 4.2 and we think that's a great improve. The all winner A20 is designed to fit the newest Android version. Let's have a closer look to the processor. The all winner A20 is a dual core ARM Cortex A7 processor with a dual Mali 400 GPU. It features a 512KB L2 cache with 128KB L1 cache. It supports DDR2 and DDR3 RAM. The processor is capable of recording and playing full high definition videos. Its max display resolution is 1920 per 1080 it's possible to use HDMI 1.4 devices. The processor itself can handle 5 or 8 megapixel cameras, but there's no camera included in the package. Since it's pin compatible with the old Allwinner 810, it's possible we are going to see a lot of tablets, Android TV sticks and smartphones refreshed with this processor. The device acts fast and Antutu benchmark ends up with scoring 5000 points. The device is shipped with an infrared remote. You are using the Mili F10, but it's nice to already have a remote delivered in the package. But there are even more control options. The Mini X Plus 2 comes with V-Control. Just download the needed APK for e-control from their website and start using Mini X Plus 2 with your phone. You easily can control the system and games with it. They connect over wireless LAN. You can mirror your display on your smartphone. The streamed resolution is not that high but you'll get through the game. You even can stream the sensors of your phone. Our smartphone handled that quite well. E-Control is available on Android and iOS. And if you own a Mini X Plus 2, you should grab the APK or download it in the Apple Play Store right now. Another nice thing is the pre-installed Google Play Store. You easily can download your apps and games. A pre-installed Play Store is one of the best things that can happen to you, because if you buy your apps on a regular basis, you don't need to buy them in another store again and pay the whole price again. If you watch the whole video and still have no clue what an Android TV box can do for you, check out the first episode of Nerd Tales from a few weeks ago and a follow up video to this one showing you the top 3 uses of Android in a box. The dual core Mini X Plus 2 sells for about 70 bucks at miniend.com. But we advise you to grab one of these very quickly. As we said before, it's released just a few days ago and it's already sold out at many places. If you have any questions left, feel free to comment. For more videos from Nerdbench, subscribe to us here on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up. My name is Norm Schapansky and I'm with Nerdbench.